Cowboy Cerrone taps out Mike Perry. Round one, arm bar. Perry's able to get inside on a body lock and drag Cerrone down, but Cerrone sweeps him and takes side control. There's a brief exchange, and Cerrone applies a triangle and switches to an arm bar. Perry slams him and then slams himself deeper into it. That's a wrap. I can't believe Perry was the favorite in this fight. Cannot believe it. I'm not sure what Mike Perry has shown that indicated to a lot of people that he could beat Donald Cerrone, even Donald Cerrone at this stage of his career. Donald Cerrone, especially, is an excellent grappler. So underrated, even when he's facing really, uh, really smart grapplers, as David Bixon's man pointed out. And the thing is, even though Donald Cerrone had lost, uh, had lost some of his recent fights. I mean, my God, Mike Perry hasn't had a great go of it either. <laughs> they just fight so much that you often forget. Like both of these had, I mean, Cerrone lost all of his fights last year, but beat Yancey Medeiros early this year. And he's right back on track. He's won two out of three. He brought his kid in the cage. Uh, a really small baby. God, I didn't even realize the baby was that young for the love of God. His belt buckle looked like a championship belt. But and then Donald Cerrone professed his desire to go back to 155. I don't know, man. I don't like that. If he fights McGregor, cool. That makes a lot of sense. You can do that fight. Cerrone's a name. It's a good opponent for McGregor. McGregor will beat him also. So you have that. Mike Perry, give him somebody out of the top 15. Don't give him Felder. I mean, he beat Felder, but Felder's a lightweight. He got beat by Max Griffin. He got beat by Pod Zanibio. Give him somebody outside the top 15 that you know will have a, have a slapper of a fight. That's the way to go. People are going to like <laughs> Perry getting beat.